Hi, this video is about left hand technique uh, on the mandolin uh, 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 regarding chords and scales and playing melodies because they're all the same. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your uh, left elbow is tucked in right against your body, against your ribs. Don't ever do this. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your wrist is always straight. Uh, you can take a ruler, if you're a beginner, you can take a ruler and uh, attach it to the back of your hand and the back of your forearm with a pair of uh, rubber bands just so you can get used to the idea of it being straight and not uh, curved like this or like this. Um, but then once you're f comfortable with that, uh, you can take it off and just work on keeping it straight like this. The reason why you don't want to let it um, bend like this is because any bend in the hand puts tension on the tendons in your arm and your wrist. Uh, for example, if you bend it this way, then you can't use your fourth finger and third finger very easily. Um, if you bend it this way, Actually, I've never seen a mandolin player do it like this, but I've seen fiddle players do it like this. Um, then it's very difficult to use your first and your second finger. So, uh, so, but by keeping your wrist vertical and straight, you can easily use all f uh, four fingers of your left hand. Um, so keep your wrist straight. So the second thing is you want to uh, line up your thumb so it's directly opposite your index finger. And if you, you can sort of imagine holding a bottle of beer or, a, or milk or something um, by the top, right? So you, you line up your thumb opposite your index finger to keep, uh, to keep it balanced. Well, it's the same on the mandolin. You line up your thumb opposite your index finger to keep it balanced. Um, I also recommend uh, lining your thumb up opposite the second fret. If you're playing a mandola or a, even a mandocello or octave mandolin, you'll, you'll want to um, keep your uh, thumb uh, loose so that you can move it between the second and third fret, which facilitates uh, reaching the higher frets. Um, there's more of a gap between the frets on the mandola and the mandocello and the octave mandolin. So uh, being able to move your thumb flexibly uh, will help you uh, take the tension off your wrist. Um, finally, the uh, last thing you wanna remember to do is to keep your four fingers over the fretboard at all times, even if you're not using them. So uh, you don't wanna be doing this with your fourth finger or your third finger, that's really hard for me to do, but I've seen uh, some beginning players that use two finger chords uh, with their fingers under the fretboard and that's just, you just don't do that. Uh, so keep your fingers over the fretboard um, so that they uh, can pu be put down on the frets very quickly and easily. All right, um, hope hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, um, post them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.